And also shout out to the Chicago White Sox. You knew I had to say it. The White Sox finished with the worst record of all time in the modern era, 41 and 121. To their credit, they won their last two. So they only set the record by one game. The worst ever previously was 42 and 120. And now there's a team that has lost 121 games. It's the Chicago White Sox. They are terrible. Awful team. I mean, they're, they are legitimately 22 games worse than L.A. L.A. was 23 back of the playoffs. So as far as L.A. was back of the playoffs, which is the second worst team in the AL, the White Sox were double that. They were double as bad as the worst team. That is insane. You look at the numbers. A minus 306 run differential. They scored 507 runs, which is the lowest in all of baseball. They allowed 813, which is the highest in all of baseball, other than the Marlins and Rockies. So they allowed the third most runs in all of baseball, and they scored the fewest. Actually, their expected win-loss is better. They, they, they were minus 7, so their expected win-loss was 48 and 114, which is still bad, but it would not have been historically bad. By the way, it's always fun to look at this. Expected win-loss, if you go by expected win-loss, um, the Mariners would be in the playoffs with 89 wins instead of 85. The Tigers would be out with 85 instead of 86. That would have changed, so expected win-loss would have changed the AL playoff picture. Also, the Royals would have won the Central at 91 wins. The Guardians would have got a wild card at 90. Is that crazy? In the NL, expected win-loss, how would that change things? The Diamondbacks would be in over the Mets at 90. Wow. That's crazy. Either way, though, we're talking about the White Sox. So at home, they went 23 and 58. On the road, they went 18 and 63. I mean, my goodness. 18 and 63 on the road. White Sox on the road, easiest bet in all of baseball. The next worst, the next worst team on the road was the Rockies, who won 24 games. White Sox were also the worst team at home. 23 wins. The next worst was the Angels, who won... No, the Marlins, actually, who won 30 games at home. 32 on the road. Um, and against 500 teams, the, the White Sox went 23-90. and 90. So against winning teams, they won 23 games. Against losing teams, they only won 18 games. Against losing teams, they won 18 games. Out of their 41. They won more games against winning teams and losing teams. Isn't that crazy? How about that? They were, they were 18, and to be fair, they didn't play many losing teams. They played a lot of winning teams, partially because every other team in their division was a winning team. Twins, Tigers, Royals, Guardians. So against losing teams, they went 18 and 31. So they were actually, against losing teams, they were kind of competent, but against winning teams, they were terrible. How do you lose 90 games against winning teams? My gosh. White Sox, man. Congrats on history, but it's a bad one. 